Evaluating or graphing an expression may involve the use of several different types of mathematical functions, including trigonometric, logarithmic, exponential, and root functions. MATLAB function names typically match or resemble the names used in common mathematical notation. For example, the MATLAB function named SIN can be used to calculate the sine of a given number. Similarly, the EXP function can be used to calculate the exponential. Let's look at how we compute the common or base 10 logarithm in MATLAB. The log 10 function is used to calculate the common log, as in this command. Notice that this command is similar to the typical mathematical expression for a function. Log 10 is analogous to the function f, the input variable b is analogous to x, and the output a is analogous to the variable y. We see that the input to a MATLAB function is enclosed in parentheses just like the mathematical expression. Notice that the other MATLAB functions are invoked in the same way. We pass inputs in parentheses after the function name and create new variables to represent the output of the function. Notice that the nth root function actually accepts two inputs. The first input is the value that we will compute the nth root of, and the second input is the value of n. For example, this syntax computes the cube root of 2. In this example, the input to the function is a single scalar value. What if we wanted to compute the cube root of a set of numbers instead of just one? For example, what if B were a matrix with multiple rows and columns? MATLAB mathematical functions that typically act on scalars are designed to also accept vectors and matrices as input. If the input is a matrix with multiple rows and columns, then the function output is a matrix that is the same size, in which each element is the result of applying the function to the corresponding element of the input matrix. You can learn more about which functions are available in MATLAB and how they can be used in commands by visiting the online documentation.